So the subject we're going to talk about today are twins, whether we're talking about identical or not identical twins. Usually, just recently actually, the majority of parents are having a tendency of probably having twins. That's because people have a tendency of having children much later in life, so in vitro fertilization is becoming much more prevalent. So what we're going to try to do right now is to give tips and ideas for parents when they do end up having twins. Most parents believe that it's cute to be able to dress up twins the same way, let them be identical in every single way, but that is not really the case all the time. See, twins, what happens is that when they're first born in the first couple of years, let's say from like, you know, when they're born all the way up to a year and a half to two years old, they are kind of fused with each other. So there's a lot of stuff that they love doing together because they were nine months together in their mom's belly, hence they're used to each other in every single way. So they love playing together, they like exploring things together, their emotions, they cry together, they get hungry together, etc. Now what we want to encourage parents to do is after a certain period of time, is to actually foster and help the children if they have differences between each other and to help them grow these differences between each other. So if your child is showing you any tendencies that they want to change and they want to do things on their own, separate from their brother or their sister, I think what you need to do is you need to encourage that to take place because that is something that is good. There could be a period of time when they might complement each other, but then after that, what you need to do is you need them to be able to find their own pace. Maybe find their own activities, do things separately than their brothers and sisters, decide what are the things that they want to do, study separately, do things separately with the parents, in order for you to be able to have this balance between the twins. So you don't want to foster any type of jealousy between the two kids. But what you want to do at the same time is accept that they are having similarities, but at the same time, they also have differences. A healthy parent is a parent that is going to help their children to be able to develop in a healthy way, whether we're talking emotionally, socially, mentally, or even physically and academically. So if you want to know about twins and tips concerning twins, there's a couple of things that are important for you to know. Number one, I know it's cute to dress them up exactly the same way, but after a period of time when you actually get over that and the whole cuteness and everything, try to actually you know, dress them up differently. Different colors, even different costumes. Now, if the child wants to dress up like their brother or their sister, then that's a totally different thing. Another thing that you need to concentrate on is birthdays and uh, festivities, whether it's New Year's, whatever the case might be. Know always that every single one has separate interests, so bring them separate gifts, have separate parties for them, every single one separately maybe, one before the other or on another day, it depends on the child. Just ask them their opinion. Kids have a tendency to know what they want and they can ask for it. They can be very, very verbal about it. As for the third thing, always try to remember that they are genetically twins but at the end of the day, they are little beings and these little beings are going to grow. So there is a personal development that needs to take place, whether it's social, picking their own friends, wanting to play different things, having different activities, like one wants to, I don't know, a horseback ride while the other one wants to know how to swim. Different types of things for the, for the children. So try to encourage that and try to see them as different individuals rather than the twins continuously.